Good morning guys, welcome to another video. As you can see over my shoulder, I'm down the canal. It's about uh, 20 past five now, something like that. I've got here for first light. We were forecast this morning, lovely overcast morning, hence me getting up. But uh, as you can probably see over there, there's not a lot of clouds in the sky. <laughs> so, sport could be very short lived this morning, assuming we get some. I've got up um, this early as well, really, to avoid the boats, that's the main thing. So, I'll be fishing in the track along here. I'm going to be fishing the waggler for some silvers, roach, bream, hybrids, who knows what. Anyway, that's enough waffle, isn't it? I'm going to get settled just behind me here. I've got my stuff. I'm going to uh, set my rod up and that. We'll run through the gear and we'll get, we'll get fishing. So gear-wise, I've got my 14-foot Cadence CR10 match number two. Abu 506 Mark II close face reel there and a Drake waggler there, small waggler. Just my usual canal fare. For those of you who watch the channel, Eagle-eyed viewers will also see I've got a sleeper rod out here. I've got one of my Dower extendable rods out here. There are a few carp in this stretch, uh, which I've seen in the past, and friends have seen as well. So I just sort of put a bit of a sleeper rod out next to these reeds here. And uh, we'll go into that in a little bit more detail, as and when it rips off, but there's sort of 99.9% .9 chance it won't. <laughs> so we won't worry too much. But uh, I've got the bait runner on, I have now. And as I say, we're fishing just tight into those reeds next to us, so we'll see how we get on. Right, time, I think, to get cracking. Baits, I've got with me some mash bread with some dynamite frenzied hemp ground bait in it. I've got some bread, some worms and some maggots. I'll get a nice bit of bread on. Get cracking, I think. Before oh, that sun gets up, because when it does, I think... I think we've had it. Right. Threw a bit of ground bait in as soon as I got here, just out there, down the middle. I've also baited the spot a little bit further along, in case we don't do any good here. So, uh, we'll see what happens. It's just about light enough to see that float, which is good. We'll give it perhaps half an hour or so here, maybe 40 minutes, something like that. If we're not doing any good by that time, I don't think we're going to. So we'll uh, we'll get moved further along, baited up. Well, there's some reeds on the other side over there. Baited up near those as well. Features on the canal like this usually attract fish. But we'll see. Oh, big splosh further along. Whether that was a duck or, or what, we'll keep an eye out. Really is key on the canals. Lo located fish is everything. As I say, so it's just rolled along there, perhaps about 30 metres to my left. Yeah, keep our eyes peeled, as I say. There's clearly some fish along there. It wasn't a duck, nothing's come back up. Bye bye. Ooh, that was a bite. Ah, some fish here. Great stuff. Float like shot out of the water. I missed it. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that. Float like lifted straight out of the water. I was say, I managed to miss it somehow. But that's, that's exactly what I wanted, really. Aside from missing it, but... That's exactly the sort of thing we want. Sign early on that there's some fish here. Right, let's try again. Hopefully hook it this time. Oh yes, some telltale bubbles coming up as well now. There you go, another dip on the float. I think it's got that now. Oh. No, stopped again. Perhaps the liner. <laughs> I'm 
feel that float's going to go any second. Yeah, more bubbles. <laughs> well, another lift. Not sure why we're not connecting these fish. But we're not, so something's not right. All right, fish just moved over there as well. Great, we've got some fish here. Cool. Wish we had some clouds as well. Because I don't think this will last long. That sun gets on the water. I've got a fairly large piece of uh, bread flake on here. It may be that it's smaller fish. Which is why we're not hooking up. See the problem with not fishing a lift method, not being anchored onto the bottom, is that the bait runs through. I'm probably laying on about four inches and a, a float's still moving through with the tow. And there's not really any any boats moving at the moment, I wouldn't think. As soon as they start opening and closing the locks, the water really starts moving through. There's certainly some fish here, though. It doesn't seem to be a lot of fish here. You can generally get a feel for it if your float's been knocked about and you're getting lots of liners. There's generally a few fish in a swim, but we've had a couple of, a couple of bites I've not connected with, which may well have been smaller fish. But at the moment, it's uh, getting the odd bubble coming up. Oh, a fox over there, carrying something. Pheasant, by the looks of it. If you can see that. Oh yeah, right. a bite as well. <laughs> oh, there's certainly some fish here. <laughs> Rabbit running away from the fox. I don't think you're in any, any trouble, Mr. Wright. He's already got his breakfast. Well, we've got some fish in, certainly. I think that last bite was a bit of a liner, to be honest. <laughs> well, there's clearly some fish here. <laughs> I saw that big splosh over there. There we go. <gasps> Tough. Well, the flow started going sideways. I was struck and I felt a fish. I think perhaps it was a, perhaps it was a liner because the bread's still on. Oh, we haven't spooked them. see it's 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 really not that prolific on its day it can be absolutely cracking well it's very very easy to rock up here and not not get a bite there's all sorts of bubbles coming up now <laughs> i can't believe we're not getting any bites Right, floats suddenly started moving off downstream. <laughs> downstream, down with the tow, and it stopped again. Now it's going against the flow. A 
There we go. Well, hopefully we can, uh, we can land this. I'd like to get him out the out the area first that we're fishing. It looks like a a bream. Uh, the way it's fighting it could be a hybrid. <laughs> First fish of hopefully many, certainly bream. Bubbling away. But we, we must be able to get one sooner or later. <laughs> Let's put that on bread. Well, a lovely looking fish. Cracking condition. Hooked in the corner of the mouth. Right, I'm not going to stick him back here. We'll let's go along the canal, 10 or 15 metres, and put him back. Great stuff. Well, that's a start. I think we should have had that bite <laughs> about half an hour ago, but uh, got there in the end. And it's very funny bite. Still never pulled the float under. We're just sort of going sideways. Bubbles popping up all around this float. And a bit further over actually as well. <laughs> Struggling to get a proper bite though, it's very strange. Been all through the baits. Several times over. Fortunately, the sun doesn't seem to have had a major impact at the moment. Although, like I say, it's it's <laughs> dip on the float there. I think that was a liner. It's very strange. The amount of fish there are seemingly there with the bubbles and the float knocking about, but really struggling to get a bite. Well, I've not moved because I'm on fish. <laughs> it's 90% of the battle with these canal fish. But blimey, I can't buy a bite. <laughs> really struggling. Let's try a bit of worm again. bite on worm and I miss it oh my goodness me I have never missed so many bites <laughs> well beautiful lift strike nothing Back on the lift method, as I've been struggling fishing standard float tactics, struggling to hit the bites, and we just had a lovely lift out of the water, and I missed that as well. I have no clue. Unless it's tiny, tiny little fish, it's all I can think. But you know, we've had that bream. There's a lovely lift on half a dendrobina. There we go. I'm connected with this one. Well, this is no small fish how we've been missing these bites I have no idea I'll try and get him steer him away from the baited area 
seems to be really playing hardball today, this fish. Oh, bream again, that's a nice one. Yeah, really playing hardball today. Got him. Well, that was on a bit of worm. So I've gone back on the lift method, missed one, and we've had that lovely fish. No monster, but very happy with that. I certainly wanted that. I just put a much smaller piece of worm on, so perhaps that's done the trick. Right, again, we're going to return him up the bank. Well, finally, missed several bites. Oh, I can't remember a session when I've missed as many bites as I've in this particular session. Really, really strange. I must have missed God, half a dozen, eight bites, something like that. It's crazy. All I can think is either there's a number of small fish down there that are giving us bites. I'm fishing fairly big baits. Um, perhaps there's a number of small fish down there. Sort of in between the, the bream. Oh, they're just being very, very cagey with the feeding. I'm getting some positive bites. I mean, you know, the flow's not getting dragged off down the canal or anything. You know, we're not getting bites that positive. But, you know, I've gone back on the lift method, and that was a lovely lift again. The one before was, which I missed. <laughs> Strange. Well, hopefully we can... We can have a few more before we go. A bit of cloud come over, which is certainly going to help. First walker of the day has just gone past. It's uh, be interesting to see what time the boats start. It's very random, generally. You can get them to start. And I know my friend Mick was fishing the canal the other week and boat went past him at about up at six in the morning, seven o'clock, something like that. But generally it's about eight, nine o'clock, they start moving. They'll certainly uh, certainly do the do the spotting when they do move. With it only being sort of three and a half foot deep, they go trundling through and all your bait goes everywhere and, and then you have to start again and by the time you've perhaps got a little bit of feed down again another one comes through so it's just generally time to go home hence getting up really early this morning here we go Put some maggots on. <laughs> it's tearing off. <laughs> I think it's probably hybrid. <laughs> Absolutely tearing off. Yeah, put a couple of maggots on. Got some solid note. Yeah. Scrap. Don't go over that. Keep him away from the, the baited area. God, shooting him out. Is it a homing or a very lively bream? Ah, 
I wrapped up Bree. <laughs> That's all wrapped up, look. All wrapped around the place. Come here. Gotcha. That's why he tore off. All wrapped up. <laughs> there we are. This one's definitely a male, he's getting his tubercles. He's got some kind of leech or something on him there. Relieve you of that, mate. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, the bubbling stopped here. Sort of quietened off a little bit. I think I'm gonna have just five minutes down by this reeds, these reeds here. And that's something happens to, to make me want to stay. I think we're going to have a move to that area we baited earlier. So yeah, a change of scenery. Perhaps change of fortune. Who knows? Start off on bread, I think. No signs of fish here at all. No bubbling or anything. That's been sort of best part of two and a half hours since we put the bait in here. We can give it half an hour anyway, can't we? See what happens. You know, it may have been that we've uh, dropped a bit of a clangor and we've just moved off some fish and uh, onto no fish. Quite quite easily be the case but nothing ventured in all that all right all right there we go What's this? oh <laughs> oh well that's annoying One of those days today. <laughs> oh, that felt a good fish as well. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> well, there's some fish here. I certainly was anyway. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, that is very annoying. Well, like I say, pretty much par for the course today. Not great. Oh, it's about half eight, yeah. Half past eight. This is no boats moving yet, yeah, because as soon as they start moving, uh, that will be it. So we'll uh, we'll give it a bit longer yet. Yeah. We'll perhaps persevere in here. Oh, no, that's clearly some fish in there. I've just had a little rise up of the float. So there's clearly something here. It's drizzling a little bit. There's no rain forecast at all. I think it was less than 5% chance of rain today, so I would put my waterproof coat on, because I know what the Met Office is like, and yet yeah, it, it is raining. But it always rains when I go fishing. So, so I'm not in the slightest bit surprised. Certainly won't do the fishing any harm. Well, just had a message from my mate Mick. He's actually about a quarter of a mile away up the canal, and he's really struggling. He's lost something which he thinks is a hybrid. It's fighting quite hard. And uh, he's caught a rough. And that's it. So, uh, yeah, it's not easy today. It would seem. I'm getting the odd bit of movement on the float that would tell me there's some fish here, but... Not a great deal. Certainly nothing like we were getting up there. All right, so another dip on the float then. Well, what's this? Roach, I would think. 
the feel of it. Finally connected with something. Here's a roach. Oh, that's not a bad one, is it? I thought they were perhaps roachy bites we were getting in here. <laughs> no monster at all. But uh, very happy with that off the canal. Thank you, good fella. I think a lot of these uh, bites we've been getting from fish of that sort of stamp. Hence missing them. That time I had a couple of maggots on. Oh, so oddly moved. Well, with hindsight, it's probably a bit of a mistake putting that roach back. <laughs> Should have kept him in the net or returned him a bit further along. Well, slow sinking maggots. Might spare fish. Should have probably netted that. <laughs> yeah, slow sinking maggots. Looks like it might be the way to go. There's fish fishing on the drop there. Let's uh, stick this one in the net. Keep him in here. Keep him down the edge here. And that seemed to work quite quickly there. Just very slow sinking maggots. I had two bites in quite quick succession. I'm actually thinking I might, uh, might scale down from 16 to an 18 and just fish single maggot. Might be the way to go. We'll see how this goes first though. See, I'm sure I had an indication then as well. It's weird because my float is going that way and the canal seems to be going that way. This seems to be the drawer on the top of the canal is going is going one way and the drawer underneath is going another way. Very strange. Another one? Genius, anyway, oh, shooting around like crazy. That's a nice, nice fish. Oh, that's a nice roach. Look at that. Oh, cracky. Wonderful. Well, no canal monster, but very happy with that. Beautiful fish. Looks like just slow sinking maggots. Seem to be. Uh, Seems to be the way to go. This canal is unusually clear, actually. You can see. Best part of a foot, I'd say. In here. I tried white maggots, just because I thought... Or a white maggot, because I thought it'd be a bit more visible. But just for five minutes, nothing. Put a red one on, then. It won't take long to have a bite. And I'm keeping these in a... In the landing net now. <laughs> just so they don't upset all their mates. I'm just sprinkling, I don't know, four or five maggots in every few minutes. And a little bit of this sloppy mush. A little bit of an indication again then. Yep, there we go. Oh, what's this? Well, this feels a bit better. Let's get this out of the way. Seems to want to go. Ah, oh, it's a bream. <laughs> well, it's absolutely trashing the swim. I thought that was another, another little roach there. Come on. Stop wrecking me swim. <laughs> well, hopefully you can see it. The proper one, I think the biggest one of the day. Looks a bit. Proper one? Cracking. Wow. We seem to have found the method. Yep, I definitely seem to have found the method now. Slow sinking maggots. Or a maggot. I scaled right down. 
to a size 18. As I say, just a slow sinking maggot. Fantastic. Right, he can stay in the landing net as well. Just over there. Nice deep spot in the margin here for the net. Cracking. Now yes, red maggots. That looks a bit. Here's the way to go. Although he absolutely has just annihilated my swim. So. I can't see that we're going to get a bite very quickly again. But you never know. Oh, there's a boat coming now. I think that's that's the end. <laughs> There's one coming this way, look. I think that's the end of that for the day. We'll, uh, we'll have five minutes after they've gone through, but I think, like I say, I think that's probably it. We've probably had it. They'll come through and I'm sure churn it all up. Morning. Morning. Well, canal's just about steadied since that last boat went through, but I don't think it's going to be steady for very long. I can hear boats moving. It's, uh, it's starting actually to move back the other way now. So I think I'm going to call that a day. It's, uh, it's, it's not going to do any good for the fishing at all. Yeah, the float's just <laughs> started to run through again. Could do with a stick float on now rather than, than a waggler. <laughs> Oh, it's banging through. We'll just let that run through once more, I think. And then, uh, and then I'm going to call it a day. But yeah, it's been very enjoyable. Well, I've had just about four hours down here this morning. Before the boat started moving, I thought we'd only get about three in. So that's good. This move paid off as well. We had a few roach. So yeah, we had a nice catch this morning. It's uh, certainly nowhere near as prolific this canal as the uh, as the Grand Union, where I've fished a few videos ago. So that's a, that's a decent catch for you this morning. I'm really pleased with that. Right, that's just banging through now. So I am going to call that a day. Now I will be out again in a few days' time. Something very different. Actually, taking my youngest daughter for our first overnight fishing trip. We're going to Linear. And that should be fun. She's never been out before overnight, uh, fishing or otherwise. So uh, yeah, should be a bit of an experience. Hopefully we'll catch something. If we, uh, if we do, obviously you'll see what happens. And fingers crossed we do. Um, if we don't, I'll, uh, I'll put it in the next video and let you know exactly what happened. But uh, until the next time, thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed that. Tight lines, enjoy your own angling when you get out there. Many thanks to the channel patrons for your fantastic support. And I'll see you all again very soon.